Hello, finally got my power back. Um, it's another snow day here. Uh, I work in schools, so um, another day off. So I figured, why not make this video? So I'm going to talk about um, my weekly pool list. I was able to read like half the books that I picked up this week. Um, so I'll be able to let you know if they were decent. And I also got... Um, some eBay books in the mail um, yesterday so I'll show those off as well so first thing I picked up was Green Arrow number 28 um, it's a it's another story of him on the island um, his, his father's back uh, it's good a lot of good action um, Lemire is a fantastic writer um, and anything he does usually is pretty good Sorrentino really um, She's, she's really good at um, drawing uh, different kinds of action like I don't know, like she, she's good at like depicting the action and um, making it like new and fresh so this was this was a, a good book um, to add to the saga of um, all the all the clans coming together so yeah I liked it um, then I picked up Wonder Woman 27 um, I think I missed picking up this book a couple weeks ago. I don't know how. I saw it on the shelf and I was like, I don't have that one because I don't have this cover. So, um, fantastic. Um, if you're not reading this series, you need to get on that immediately. It is fantastic. Um, doing things with superheroes that just haven't been done before with Azarello. Um, Chang's art is fantastic. Um, the saga continues. It's fantastic. Um, then I picked up Forever Evil number five. Um, really good I really like this um, event I think that it's you know they've done a really good job with it um, get to see you know a lot more of Batman um, Sinestro fleshes out in this series uh, in this issue and um, it's good I'd recommend it I picked up Detective Comics number 28 this is um, the second story of uh, Goth Goth Gothopia um, besides that Batgirl issue, that Batgirl issue was awesome, I thought, um, with, like, the Joker candy ice cream company, that was, that was really good. Um, this issue, um, you know, you kind of figure out what Goth Gothopia is all about, um, good Scarecrow issue, um, it's not, like, the best, but it's pretty good, I liked reading it, it was good. And I picked up Joker's Daughter, this one shot. I was kind of wary on it because it was five bucks. I didn't really know if I wanted to spend that much money on the Joker's daughter because I heard it wasn't, you know, her stuff wasn't that interesting. But this book was, it exceeded my expectations. I mean, it is dark. It is disgusting. Um, this girl is out of her mind. Um, it brought some madness back to the Joker. Um, a good cliffhanger ending. Uh, it was it was good. It definitely exceeded my expectations. With a five dollar price tag, I would do it again. It was good. Um, also picked up Green Lantern number twenty eight. I haven't read that one yet, but I love Supergirl and I'm excited to see that. I picked up Miss Marvel number one. Um, it already feels fresh and I haven't read it. I'm glad they're going in this new direction with a with a different kind of character. Um, I picked up Phantom Stranger. I've liked the Blade story. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stay with it, and the Phantom Stranger is just so awesome. Even if the story's not that great, you can just look at the Phantom Stranger, and he's just got the best getup. I haven't read this one yet, unfortunately. Um, Swamp Thing number 28. Um, this is also one of my favorite series. Um, since you know Charles Soul took over, this series is unbelievable. Scott Snyder's run was great too, but Charles Soul is just taking this to another level. Action Comics number 28. The first, the first issues of this were not good. With Morrison, I didn't like it. I felt like they were stale. It wasn't going anywhere. Um, Greg Pack has taken over, and it's it's felt fresh. Like it, it's a good mixture of like fun and seriousness and action, and it's really good. Um, I picked up the Movement number nine. I really like this series. I don't know why. I can't pinpoint it. I haven't read this issue yet. Um, I feel like it's like not going anywhere, but I love street level books, and this is a street level book um, in every sense of the word, and that's why I like it. 
I guess, other than that, there's nothing special about it. And I picked up um, DC Comics Presents number one, 100 page spectacular Harley Quinn. Um, Paul Dini, you know, I'll give it a shot. I heard it wasn't the best, but um, I'm happy to have this cover here just because it's awesome and they used it again. So, yep, that's what I picked up at the store. And on eBay, these just came in. I think Yanni Gogolak. I gotta start writing these down because I forget who were the people that said it. I I uh, ordered this before he talked about it, but um, still he 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 saw what I saw. Um, this is the the Legends um, mini series. Um, this first issue is the first appearance of Amanda Waller. It's definitely underrated. Amanda Waller is a huge heavy hitter, especially in the new 52 right now. Um, you, you know, like, she's she's behind every little thing that goes on in the DCU. And um, this is definitely underrated. So I got these, this this whole, this whole six-part miniseries I got for five bucks on eBay with $2 shipping. So, you know, it's totally gettable. These are in high grade. Um, if I if I keep seeing this book out there, I'm going to pick it up just because I, I think that eventually it's going to be a little more sought after because she is definitely a heavy hitter in there. So, yeah. I mean, and they're, you know, they're cool covers too. So if you see these Legends books out there, I'd pick them up. Um, also, got, also got this lot from... Um, from this guy on eBay. Um, I got these two books for $6 um, and a lot. It was a buy now with free shipping, which is awesome. Um, Amazing Spider-Man number 148 in very high grade. Um, Jackal story. Uh, I think that's part of the, the clone story with um, uh, was it Ben Riley, I think, or something. Yeah. But that's in high grade. And I... Um, Amazing Spider-Man number 77. This is like a good copy, um, but I'm happy to have it. You know, like six dollars for the both of them. And what was amazing was after he gave me those, he threw in for free Tales to Astonish number 61, um, which is amazing. Um, 62 and 63 and 100. So, I mean, these are all. Like, I love this series, Tales of Astonish. I don't have any of these books yet. Um, the fact that he just threw them in, I mean, they're definite readers. They're good. Maybe even, like, very good, minus. Um, but, like, the fact that he threw them in for free was amazing. I mean, like, you know, these these were six bucks with free shipping. And then he decided to throw in, like, you know, four early, you know, Giant Man, Hulk things. Yeah, I, I mean, it was awesome favorite seller in the world. Thank you very much. Um, and I also picked up Incredible Hulk 138. This was a um, dollar on eBay with free shipping. Um, it's like very good plus, fine minus. Um, some discoloration up there. You can probably see it. It's not a shadow. That is brown. A um, little, little rough edges there, but other than that, it's fine. I'm trying to complete this entire series from 102 up um i'm even getting over 200 so i'm happy to have this for really cheap oh and that big crease right there Ugh. oh well there's a dollar i'm super happy um the invincible iron man number 12 he said that it was like near mint minus i totally disagree um i think i paid like 15 dollars 18 dollars for it something i can't remember something like that um but i mean like the the crease down there and some apparent spine wear um corner's not the best up there i mean you know maybe very fine minus it is a good book it's just not as high as he said but i mean i didn't pay too much for it i'm not that worried about it it's the first controller right there first appearance of him you know it's a it's a minor key book it's a great cover so you know i'm happy to have it and um also picked up a reader copy of Ghost Rider number one. Nobody bid on it. I mean, I know that it's definitely like in good condition. Um, you know, chipping there and a little, little curl 
at the bottom. But for me, it was twelve dollars um, with like a couple dollars shipping. It's definitely worth it for me. Uh, I don't have this book yet. I'm not that interested in Ghost Rider, but um, I like this cover, and for me, this is like a big key in in Marvel. So um, I'm definitely happy to pick this up on the cheap, even though it's a low grade. So um, thank you for watching. Thanks to the subscribers again and the, everyone that you know leaves a comment. Um, really enjoy it. I hope uh, if you're on the East Coast that you're braving the snow right now because it really sucks. So uh, keep your chin up and keep reading comics and have a good one. See ya.